Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for uh, Romance reading for August 2020. I'm using the Romance Oracle deck and of course the Tarot and the Linamon and uh, Archangel Michael and an answer from the angels. Now if you're new here, welcome and please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when we go live as I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, give away free cards and I answer questions um, that are supported by a donation that is a super chat or a super sticker sometimes we do healing sometimes we have discussions but there will be more uh, interaction with each other after the summer holidays as a lot of the viewers or cyber angels love to interact with each other and with me okay now for those that uh, would like to join in the competition which it was cancelled two weeks ago that will be uh, started again um, and uh, so keep an eye out for a page on my Facebook I will let you know when that is up and running again be, um, because I'm also inclu including uh, Facebook viewers okay because there are some people that did two people that said well um, I'm busy with my vision board so I am going to restart that so if you're listening please know that I have called out somebody called Hex so if you are Hex then please keep note of that I will be making a video not uh, notifying everybody uh, when it's going to start because the new series for Wendy the witch the Dutch witch uh, uh, will start up again but totally in a different uh, with something new of course and we have to wait on material etc etc when Wendy's also just moved home so there will be a new series the Dutch witch and uh, Charlie or Shah or the Dutch will might give it another name but it will be to do with natural things okay this is your romance reading and um, I, the th I've done the three top first and now I'm going to go back into um, uh, into routine of each month so the, f the winner was Capricorn with 276 votes or likes and then it was Pisces with 96 and then it was the Gemini's with 86 okay so thank you very much for all your likes if you do want to be the first one to be read then make sure that you um, like as much as possible okay and welcome back my cyber angels thank you for coming back and be so loyal it's lovely to see you here again and I hope it resonates with you uh, the first card that you have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek well perhaps you are already far further advanced in your relationship by now so definitely this card is letting you know uh, this is the one now if you are hooked up then this is pretty simple for you then you've chosen or then you are hooked up with the right partner good on you congratulations we have the six of pentacles so in this relationship is balanced because you're giving and taking giving and taking in this relationship that is how it should be one week we might feel a little bit down then I would say you're the less fortunate one and your partner might be the one that's up and running and being happy etc etc so this is a good relationship because there's a lot of sharing and giving and taking being done well done if you're not hooked up there might be somebody coming back from the past because um, the, in this deck I see the six of Pentacles not only giving and taking but we've got the ghost here so I'm taking somebody from the past okay or somebody from the other realm is sending you a message a gift this could be a feather this could be a coin saying that they are seeing you hooked up with a perfect partner Wow well 
Perhaps now you are hooked up because you might have been together with somebody else, but you found your happiness. That is what somebody, this could be a grandmother or a father or a mother, if they're not living anymore, showing you, well done, what a beautiful relationship. And if you are just hooked up with somebody new, then this is a good partnership. You are finished with the past. You have come full circle and you're starting again. Brilliant, lovely. I love that. That's a nice, nice thing. Now, in the second week of August, make an effort if you are, whether you're hooked up or whether you're not hooked up, when you're hooked up, make an effort and let them know you admire them, that you fancy them. Ooh, let the passions go. Okay, just let them know they are your star. Give them a kiss or a cuddle. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Okay? So, show them that you love them. And if you're not hooked up, then make the effort to get hooked up. And go out there and show the people who you are. Perhaps you might catch somebody's eye. Or if you fancy somebody, and then ask them out. Let them know how you feel. Be bold. Now, you've got the Queen of Wands. Oh, definitely. This could be the Queen of Wands is also Leo. She represents Leo. But don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries. But this Queen of Wands, she goes for what she wants. So, that is a good card. Telling you to show uh, what you want. And that you're there. And that you love them. Like a page out of the Queen of Wands book and if you're not hooked up then tell the queen of wands whether it's a man or a woman this could be a man with a nurturing side but still have that fire and that passion and the ter determination more career orientated that's the masculine side and more so than the feminine side the feminine side is nurturing and she nurtures like mad when she loves somebody and when somebody is hers they are hers. So if you are hooked up or if you meet um, a, a fire sign like Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, um, Aquarius, let them know that you do w want to make an effort. Okay? But remember, know their boundaries and you must know your boundaries. Because once you are theirs, you're theirs. They will fight for you through thick and thin. They will go through fire, hellfire, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to get what they want. Okay, get out your comfort zone. Uh, I couldn't have picked a better card. Well, I don't pick cards as it happens, but you've got the house. This might mean that some of you might be moving in together. You might take that step or make that effort and say, Let, why don't you move in? Or can I move in with you? Because this is the house. Or this could mean you might feel safe being in your comfort zone. Well, the Queen of Wands doesn't. The Queen of Wands, boom, goes out of her comfort zone to get what she wants. So come out of your comfort zone. Okay, Aquarius. It's no use diddle-daddling. That's what I'm also hearing. Don't diddle and daddle go for what you want make the effort that it will be appreciated be daring because this fire sign is daring but you know if it isn't a fire sign you're going out with then take a page out of the fire signs book let your pa show your passion towards them now if you are hooked up you have the next card in the third week finances and career finances and career okay financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so sort the finances out before you go and spend more money and if you're not hooked up then perhaps your finances might be an issue because you're not getting hooked up because you can't go afford to go out be more creative like the fire sign 
okay be more creative invent a way that you can go out and it won't cost you any money outside your normal expenditure when the weather is nice get a picnic it's also romantic or take a packed lunch and go biking with your prospective love or with your partner take the children with you let them exercise and let them go on their own bikes if they're old enough you can just go up the street and sit next to the railway or in the park uh, and keeping distance from others because I know there's still COVID regulations in some country but be romantic be um, inventive that's being creative and that is also very enticing to a partner showing that you are taking the extra uh, mile to bring in the passion the passion doesn't mean sex only the passion means the fiery creative oh, daring active um, uh, action like making the packed lunch and planning something like that as a surprise and you know if you say let's go out on Saturday afternoon and then you say well we'll be leaving at the end of the morning but I've got a surprise in store and then they might say yes we'll cost a lot of money no no it's a total surprise and just jump jump on uh, jump it on them um, say on Saturday morning we're going for a bike bike ride and Joe or Jack and Jill can go on their own bikes once the kids are tired out then you've they can go to bed or go and play games because they'll be tired and they'll need to have a rest themselves and then you and your partner can sit quietly and listen to music or go and do something else together whilst the kids are resting wow look at this and you've got the five of ones there might be competition yes there could be competition the kids might be taking up a lot of your time so that's competing against the kids so in involve the kids and make time afterwards for your partner be creative be daring come out of your comfort zone or dump the kids at grandma and grandpa and if you uh, were unfortunate like me that you couldn't do that then ask somebody can uh, my children have a sleepover and be with you <coughs> be with you for the night and I'll do the favor back to you too so this is how you keep friendships going and you don't have to have competition with your friends you can um, help your friends and your friends can help you don't be scared of the competition and that is if you're hooked up and if you've got children if you're not hooked up then yes it might stop you from going out and going to the discos or whatever um, because that costs money so if you know somebody around you that you are interested in message them and ask them whether they want to come out for a picnic Ooh. We do have the mice here, okay? The mice means something might be gnawing at you, that's one thing, but the basic meaning means loss uh, or theft. So this could be the competition, somebody might, might be trying to steal your partner away from you. Well, beat them to it, you've been warned, make it exciting, make, go for what you want, come out of your comfort zone, don't let anybody steal your partner. I'm not saying that's happening because this card has also got uh, other meanings like a loss, loss of, loss of um, excitement, loss of physical contact, loss of knowing that they're loved. Show it to them, show it to them. Don't worry about the finances. That is not very important. You are important. And when you go out with each other and it doesn't cost anything, you can show them that you can still have passion, love and excitement without costing anything. But you have to be happy with what you have and not with what you don't have. Something that mice also gnaw through, through things. So it could be that something is gnawing at you. Well, take action. Do something about it. Don't just sit on your bottom. Okay? Look, and if you are stressed out because the kids are there, you have children, um, then 
M seek help, ask help. Mice work in groups. Many hands make light work. You can perhaps return the favor to your friend that will have your children. Babysitter. Okay, I'm hearing you. Babysitter will cost money. No, they won't because you'll just have to be creative enough and ask your babysitter what would you like in return that wouldn't cost money and they might just say well I just want uh, um, uh, a week off of my usual date or uh, can I have an extra night another time can I change dates and this is how you bargain with people and this is how you support each other in the community um, and respect each other give a little bit more freedom okay now this is a good card because this is for you Aquarius and it's telling you free yourself free yourself okay don't feel tied up that could be taking the excitement away okay you might feel that you're tied up it isn't D let the fun come back in show your inner child it is time to take back control of your life so that your inner child can come out and that you can be more fun show that you are fun show that you are better than the competition they fell in love with you and you with them so go for it defend yourself seven of ones defend yourself and tell the other person if you know the other person to let go let go your partner is your partner okay and if need be you might want to seek advice from a mature man okay perhaps uh, a third party is jealous and is trying to get uh, your partner okay well go to their partner and tell them what they're busy with and leave you two alone okay I know it takes two to tango but don't fight with your partner just say you know what are you doing do you want me or don't you we have a beautiful relationship and it's still uh, inspiring okay ask uh, either a father figure or a mature man for help if you need to to talk to your man if you need to or to talk to or go to the father of your partner and ask them to talk to your partner advise them luck is in the air this is a romance reading so this is really luck in business or at work so make it work work for it and you will have luck Wow go for what you want break free from feeling trapped show them you are the sunshine in their life the beacon and you've got a healing card a green card from Ike um, Archangel Michael and it says positivity the energy of words use the words very charmingly the intonation it's not only what you say but mean what you say and say what you mean and you can use them charmingly and watch your intonation how you say it do you say it with force do you say it with anger do you say it with sexuality and sensuality you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar Archangel Michael requests a personal thorough review of your inner mind and outer verbal dialogue words have powerful energy use them wisely heal the situation take space green to me means money space health healing if somebody has an allergy against grass then don't go and picnic in the grass go and picnic in a suburban uh, area where there's more concrete but next to the river perhaps something like that or the promenade by the beach listen to your intuition my sweetie it will never leave you in the lurch 
This could be also gut feelings, but also new ideas. You know your partner the best. You know what they like, okay? Not the third party. Where is the third party? Um, the mice or... Where did I see the third party? Here, yeah, there you are. Tell them to take a hike. Not with you. <laughs> okay. Tell them to take a hike. Listen to your intuition. Be open and honest and watch how you say it. Whether it's to your partner or the third party. You fight for what you believe in and what you want to keep. Just like the Queen of Wands. Don't let go. It's worth making the effort. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, um, Aquarius, and good luck. And I don't think this uh, reading will resonate with all Aquarians, um, but have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Perhaps that one will resonate even more with, with you than this reading. Please like and share, and of course, you can be one of the top three let's see who will have the most likes enjoy your summer and make something beautiful in your love life and in your relationship don't stop to fight for it take care and be beautiful I love this card give and take remember give and take take care and be blessed and stay safe See you in the life and if not in the next video.